Georgia up against Fiji in Pool D. Uh, it's third against fifth. Different reasoning to get a result for both teams. I think with Australia and Wales in this pool, in all likelihood, these teams are battling it out for that third third spot and automatic qualification for the next World Cup. Milton Haig, the Georgian coach, has kind of already spoken about that. But I think for that reason, uh, there will be a fair bit of feeling in the game. And also for Fiji, you know, they, they are two losses from two games so far. And they definitely have a point to prove that they are uh, better than that record suggests. I'll put the teams in the description so you guys can have a look. But ultimately, these are very, very changed um, teams from uh, from last week. Georgia has only retained Todua on the left wing. Uh, Mikau Tadza in the second row. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, all the rest of the players... Uh, have either shifted into the squad from outside the 23 or they've shifted up from the bench. The 19 combo moves up from the bench. Uh, Sharakadze moves up from the bench to captain the side from 12. Uh, 13, that's Kacharava, is in from the uh, outside the 23, as is the right wing Kiv Seladza. Apologies for that. Uh, Matashvili is up at fullback from the bench. It's a, a whole bunch of changes. Brigvaz is down to the bench from, from Hooker. He kept on the side in that last game. Um, the reserves for the backs are all outside the 23 initially. So yeah, it's, it's a lot of changes. How that affects the squad um, will be an interesting one to watch because that's what kind of cost Fiji against Uruguay. But they did play on Sunday, so it's a relatively short turnaround for Georgia and they are having to manage that. And that game against Uruguay was in really hot weather. So hopefully Milton Haig... Chooses more appropriate attire because last time he was sweating buckets. Uh, for Fiji, they've also made a whole lot of changes. They played on Wednesday, so that's Wednesday last week, obviously, rather than like two games in two days. But they um, they are still making a bunch of changes. It's more like, I think, what we would regard as probably one of their strongest teams. Uh, the only players continuing on are Wangani Borotu at 6. I think he's played pretty much every game starting. Nakarawa is back to the second row from the back row. And Randradra is onto the left wing out from center. So everyone else has changed up. Yato is back, which is good news. Uh, Morimui Valo is back, Tuisova is back, Nayathalevo is back, uh, Vola Vola starts, Lomani is there, Matsavesi, that's Sam Matsavesi starts at hooker. So it's a whole bunch of changes. As I said, they definitely have a point to prove. Uh, their rugby history is pretty brief between these two countries with just three games played. Uh, it's 2-1 to one in favor of Fiji. The average uh, in those games is 21-16. Uh, the most recent game, I think it was played in Fiji, was 37-15, uh, and that was a couple of years ago. So uh, it's going to be an interesting battle of styles because when you think Georgia... You think scrummaging, you think mauling, you think big forwards, and you don't really think much about the backs. I've had a look at their squad, and you know it's not the one I'm the most familiar with, that's for sure. Uh, but pretty much all the forwards have contracts in France, playing in top 14 or second division. Uh, and a lot of the backs are playing domestically, so they don't have that kind of same level of experience or uh, you know maybe quality in the backs that they do in the forwards. Fiji, you think, probably has a better balance overall because most of their guys, um, some of them play for the Drua, but a lot of them play in France again. Uh, and it's a good mix of the of the backs and the forwards. Like Nakarawa um, is world-class and he is a forward. So um, I guess overall you would say the Fijians probably have a better even spread. But even then, Fiji are known for their backs. So it's the team which is known for their forwards against the team which is known for their backs. That may not be fair because obviously there's, um, you know, another half of the team that you can't just disregard. But that's kind of what it is. Uh, the bookies are predicting it to be relatively close with Fiji seven point favorites. Uh, rugby forecast the algorithm has it by six points. Um, so yeah, pretty close. If the Georgian Fords can get on top, that'll be interesting. Uh, but you got to remember the Fijians can hit you literally from everywhere, and their their backs aren't. Um, aren't second rate either so yeah it'll be very interesting one to watch 
Uh, you guys let me know your thoughts. How do you think this one is going to go? Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.